Hi, Joe Cerrone. And I'm Alan Rosen. Welcome to CAD 134, Basic AutoCAD for Interior Design in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. We'll be running these Zoom meetings on Thursdays at 1030, and we'll be using the same link. We have a redundant link in it this time, but you can see the numbers T09 are the same. And so next week, we'll also continue to run the meeting at the same time. Al, you want to talk a little bit about how to get the software and some of these details here? Yes, fantastic. No problem. Uh, Joe has brought up the area, and it's in blue. It says uh, how to get the install and software and such. If you left click on it, please, Joe. And there it is. That's how to get the free software. If you left click on that highlight link right there, and I'll get you right to it, hopefully. Yeah, let's just take a look at this document. Okay, and basically what Al is showing you is the student website, autodesk.com educational free software. So these softwares are no charge and you can download all of them. And we recommend the AutoCAD 2020 or the 2021. And as it comes up, you can see it starts up here. And what's really nice about it, Joe is still logged in, but normally in the top uh, area has a uh, red area, has blue area, uh, has, I should say, sign in, or you can create one. So it's over there also. And that there, Joe's logged in. You would normally say create one. And after you create it, it's really nice. Uh, you can do anything you want with it. You need your B number or something to inform information about it because AutoCAD is asking you nowadays. Um, please confirm who you are. So once you do that, there's all the software you want. AutoCAD is right there that we're looking at. And what we want to do is get started and click on that arrow going to the right. And it would say on top, it's not too highlighted real good, but it says 21, 22, 20, and whatever else. You click on 21 or 20 is fine. Left click on it. And then what it says, it says install. Now there's an arrow going down. If you left click on that arrow going down. And it says install or download. Uh, in the Mac version, and then when you partition it, you would say download. If you go into Windows, you would go to install. Uh, then you uh, follow along what it says. It tells you and checks uh, if you have enough mem memory for it, if it's speed enough for the computer, etc. And you're ready to go. If for some reason you don't want to partition, you have a Mac computer. Uh, right to the adjacent to the right of it is basically for the Mac. The only problem with it is, is the Mac and the Windows software do not look the same. Uh, they have things differently moved around or whatever else. doesn't have all the bells and whistles and such like that. But also if you're looking at some other stuff down below, there's Rivet down there. Uh, there's Fusion 360, there's Inventor, 3D Max, uh, there's also different things, civil, environmental engineering, fabrication, you name it, it's there. And it's all good for a year. Once you log in, you make a login for yourself and a sign-in, anything here you see is good for one year. And if you continue taking our courses, uh, we update and automatic updates for a year then. If you look at regular buying this software, I believe, Joe, it's what? Twenty-three or twenty-four hundred dollars a seat. Yeah, it's a good a good twenty-four hundred dollars. They they want to go to um, monthly licensing, and so it's kind of the way things are nowadays. And uh, the difference between For commercial versions, right, right? And the only difference between a commercial and student version, it has a border around it, a student version, etc. Onto it. That's the only thing that comes with it. It comes everything standard stock. Uh, what you see here is what's on yours. Okay, John, you missed it, huh? <laughs> it blinked out. It does, it does it on purpose. Um, all right. Okay. I got it back. So if you go down a little further, okay, there's the books that we're looking at. Uh, for sure, you need this book right here, correct, Joe? Yeah, the Interior Design and Space Planning book. And it's uh, it's an older book, but the, the book is really well laid out. <clears throat> And we've been looking for a better book, but we just have not found anything better. And so it has a lot of tutorial or lab-based projects. And so this is the book that we'll be using. Um, you can either buy the uh, paperback or you can buy the Kindle version of the textbook. 
And you could buy an earlier version if you find something a little bit older that would work, but that's not bad. $59 for an ebook, $100, I guess that's the way books are these days. Yeah, you, so. can also, you can also look for a used one. Uh, sometimes you'll find used one on eBay, which works fine. In the Architectural Fundamentals book, we're telling people to hold off on right at this point right now because um, we're going to see how far we can get with the regular AutoCAD before we go into Architectural Desktop. But that book is, uh, Arch Desktop is a, is a full-blown 3D uh, modeler for AutoCAD. All right, uh, so let's continue. And so as we work with this course, we have the textbooks laid out and then here's our learning objectives for the first uh, couple of chapters. Let's take a look at the syllabus and the outline of topics. And that's all in this also all the way into the top, please. Uh, if you go up on top and say content, please. Uh, we have two areas. One is uh, the ses uh, announcements that you have up there. And the second one is a content, which is a meat and potatoes. If Joe left clicks onto it, please. And there's a uh, spring area for syllabus. Right. So the best way to catch us is by email, arosen at d2l.oakton.edu or Jay Cerrone. And um, D2L is a little better for emailing. Uh, so try to use the the in uh, the D2L email. <clears throat> Basically, there's no prerequisite for the course. Uh, it's an introductory course for computer-aided design with interior design applications. So all of the drawings are architecturally orientated and we'll draw floor plans, elevations, and some basic three-dimensional drawings. Uh, we'll create interior design projects using AutoCAD, CAD drafting techniques. There's a number of projects in here, everything from uh, just basic floor plans and conference rooms to full-blown uh, commercial bank plans. And uh, I think there's a cabin in there as well as some other house plans. That's good. But, and that's why we, we chose the textbook. Uh, students... Um, can create a portfolio of their projects. And we wanna be able to demonstrate the proper drawing techniques. And so a lot of things are just in the details, like getting the text the right height and getting the layers and the line types correct. Academic integrity, please avoid any of these things here. We use uh, D2L, we'll show you the outline of topics. That's it also attached. Um, we'll have a combination of online videos, and we'll have a weekly Zoom classroom meeting. Uh, the course is being taught online asynchronous, which means that we, um, we, we basically have all the curriculum and all the materials out there to learn the course, and students can work on it independently. But we found that running a weekly Zoom meeting was a good way to just keep in touch with the students. So we will have weekly Zoom meetings, but you don't have to attend, essentially. COVID-19 protocols are listed right here. And then other course information, if you need any special assistance or anything like that, feel free to contact us offline and we can see if we can help you find somebody to support you. All right, let's take a look at the outline of topics. Sequence of topics. So every week we'll cover a chapter or two. Uh, the first couple of chapters are really very kind of just about the interface. And then things kind of start to get rolling in chapter three and into more architectural floor plans and draws, drawing uh, lecture rooms. And so we'll start off with drawing some basic shapes and, um, and sketches. And then we'll get into some small rooms, conference rooms, floor plans, being able to add details like walls, doors, and windows. Uh, we have an overseas 3D printing project. We're working with some of the schools over in Europe um, and we'll roll that out in mid-February and talk a little bit about that. Um, we'll go through dimensional calculations, things like being able to calculate out the square footage of room sizes and area calculations. We'll create 
furniture installation plans. We have spring break in March. We'll have a midterm. We'll create these furniture installation plans. But essentially, as you look through it, we'll cover a chapter or two a week. And so as we go through and, and work on these projects, we'll try to have everything done by the first week in May and get the final exam. And then everything will be due the fifth, uh, May 12th. And if you do need an extension or something, um, sometimes you know we need to make some modifications, but uh, feel free to follow that outline as it's listed right there. All right, so that's the outline of topics. Uh, let's take a look at um, the videos. And so the first chapter we have a video for, and I guess before we do that, let's just look at the content here again. And so there's some information for the textbook. So there's some of the chapters that are tan, uh, scanned in. If you haven't gotten the textbook yet, you can take a look at these scanned documents. Um, if we take a look at the, um, Let's, let's stay on task here for a second before we go right into the book. So you can get the first couple of chapters there. And then if we come back here to chapter one, just the basic layout for those students that aren't in the classroom, we'll be looking at the interface. We have a PowerPoint presentation that talks about <clears throat> the interface and goes over the chapter highlights. And I think you know, there's some, some other things that are off in here that we need to turn on with those uh, Okay, I'll take care of them. Uh, but there's also a PDF and also a PowerPoint. Uh, we use PDF, it comes up quicker, and you can use it for Mac also. It's a lot easier. That is correct. So I'm going to um, turn off the student, and then uh, I'm going to pause the video while we add a couple of things that are resuming. Okay, and so in the first chapter, we have this PowerPoint presentation. And it basically goes through the learning objectives for the class for the first chapter, which is working with the graphics window. And it's a lot of terminology. So as we go through, we want people to understand the correct vocabulary for working with AutoCAD, being able to work with setting up the colors for the interface, application menus, and input methods. And so this PowerPoint basically goes through the first chapter. And then if we go back and we look at the chapter two, chapter two is where we actually have kind of the meat and potatoes, as you would say, right, Al? Yeah, that is correct. Thank you. And again, we have the learning objectives laid out here in the main splash page. And then these are the tasks that we're going to, to work on or the, the drawing projects. And then again, there's another PowerPoint. And then here's the chapter. And then here's the PDFs of the exercises. And so exercise 2-1 is listed right here. And then if I come back to chapter two. And so we'll have these exercises. You'll see them pop up, okay, with the instructions on how to create the drawings. And then we also have videos for each of those exercises. And so Al and I have created these videos on YouTube and on the D2L. And so the best way to learn CAD is by watching videos. Don't you think, Al? Yes, it's very helpful sometimes to go over and refresh your memory, review, and everything else. Exercise 2-1. So what we recommend you do is you start to follow these content sections for each of the modules. And then work those modules from the top to the bottom, where you can start off by looking at the PowerPoint, and then you can watch the video, download the drawing assignments, and then we demonstrate how to create these drawings here. And we're moving kind of quick on those videos, but you can slow it down, stop it. There's also closed caption onto it also at this time. That is correct. And so we have videos for the other exercises too. You can download the drawings and then start these drawings. And so we have these videos here and you see the files that say DWG file, and then we can show you the exercise. So for example, I can download this file, open it, and I've got to bring it to the monitor here. And then you can see that the drawing has been set and created 
with what's called a locked layer. And so what we've done is we've locked out a layer and we've made this layer active. And so as we start to learn how to draft with AutoCAD, we can go here to the line command and then we can just simply use our grid and our snap and be able to just kind of trace over. We, we like to start off really basic, right, Al? Yes. And so we'll give you that content, right click, enter, because a lot of it is just getting used to being able to draw with the mouse. I could draw with the line command again by choosing the command over here. As we look at the interface, there's a lot of information on there. So don't try to get all of it memorized at first. We'll start with basic draw commands like line, and then we'll work with some modify commands like erase and trim. And so as we work with the software, you can click on the command. If you hover the mouse over the icon, it will give you the help screen. And if you take the F1 key, it will give you more help. So as you go through and you start to work with these exercises, this is how we will start to work those. Joe, and then, go ahead. ahead. Uh, it's like, like a little baby. They learn how to crawl first, then they take the two steps. Uh, holding onto things and etc., and then finally they keep on walking. That's going to be the same way that anybody else can use the AutoCAD. This just works out just fine. Correct. And so by by kind of making the exercise sort of a trace over the first one, we kind of want to build your confidence. And then as we look at some of these draw commands, and they are in the video, um, the, the dots don't have to be exactly perfect. Um, I think I have something called snap on here which if I turn it off, I can then make them almost perfect. Well, not this time, but- You forgot to put in the size you needed, Joe. I know, it's always something with me. It's okay, yeah. it happens, it happens to everybody. But as we go through, uh, that's how you're, you're going to do the first exercise. We'll go through and we'll lay out these, these, these parts and then, We'll use snap and grid. And like I was saying, we have a video for all of the projects. And then what you'll do is you'll go to file or the big red A, and you can use a save as drawing. And so I can save this as my initials or your initials. That's what we replace the axis with. And so I'll say, this is gonna be my initial. And then I'm gonna place this on my drawing drive. And I will place that here. I will save it. And then we'll turn those drawings into the assignments folder. So the way we turn them into the assignments folder is we'll go up here to assignments and I'm gonna go back to viewing it as a student. Assignments. And then I'll go to the, I believe this is the chapter two exercise. Yeah. Al has the due date is February 10th. We typically have them due two weeks after the day that we uh, release the module. And here's the rubric information for how students will be graded. They'll be graded on completeness, graphical accuracy, using proper design rules, dimensioning, and CAD features. And also, by the way, also by the way that uh, the assignment is used two different ways. One is a turn and assignments are graded, but if for some reason you need a uh, more help or understanding or something like that to go along with it, you can also submit it and put in a little comment over there, please do not grade it, help me with this, I'm having some problems doing whatever else, and we will get back to you, we'll get you in a Zoom link and uh, walk right along with you to get it to how it's supposed to be and send it back to you. And so you add a file and then you can locate where you put your file like I just did. And so mine is on my, my desktop, my master course. So I can go ahead and grab it. Let's see, there it is. Open it. And then I add it. And then I can submit it. And like Al was saying, if you want to get some help or if you need some help, this is a good way to exchange files. But of course, you know, put them in there if they're done and they're, you know, you can just say, here's my drawing. Thanks. 
We'll submit wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's also, if you go back to submit, please, one more time when you get done. Go down, please. There you go. Right there. Uh, if for some reason you don't want to type in whatever else, um, there's two other ways of doing it. If you want a video conference, um, put your video on there or audio. You can just click that and click on audio and you can just talk and it automatically comes right on there and send it to us. Right. All right. So let's go back to the main splash page. I think we've covered most things. We've covered textbook, software, syllabus, and outline of topics. Um, as far as the way the course is laid out, we'll have these weekly Zoom classroom meetings. And then we have these videos. So here's a video of the first exercise. Al likes to put videos in the main splash page. Some of these are better than others uh, <laughs> as we get better with making the videos. Um, but we have all the information for how to create these. The course is color coded. So anything that's in blue is a reading assignment. Green is a lab assignment. Purples are videos and red are quizzes. And then if we go under the content area, each week we'll release a new chapter. And so right now, Al has got chapter one and chapter two listed. Students are to go through the module from top to bottom and basically create these drawings and then turn them into the Dropbox. And I believe they're not due for about 10 days or so until February 3rd. All right, uh, Al, is there anything else that we wanna talk about in our 10 minute Zoom meeting? I think we covered everything we had to cover. If there's any questions, please email to us, either Joe or myself. So we'll stop the recording and then open things up for questions.